Our next honoree of the evening is receiving the Business Visionary Honor. She is a serial entrepreneur with a proven track record in developing and building highly, highly successful brands. Her list of achievements are both groundbreaking and inspiring. Here's a little more about Tony Co. I am a first generation immigrant. My family immigrated to the US when I was 13 years old. It was the spring of 1986 when we landed in LA. And as soon as I walked out of the airport and took my first breath of delicious LA air, I immediately fell in love with this land of opportunity and infinite possibilities. Despite not speaking a word of English, I quickly learned that the true language between humans is communicated through smiles, kindness, and empathy. I started my first business, Nix Cosmetics, in 1999 in a 600 square foot showroom with only three employees to start the business, me, myself, and I. At 25 years old, I had no idea what the future held for the brand. NYX Cosmetics became the first global and national brand founded by an Asian American female in the world. I am immensely proud and humbled by how a business can manifest into something spectacular out of nothing but a vision and an idea in someone's head. My story represents the essence of immigration, and it embodies the spirit of taking a chance and the courage of crossing over oceans and continents. It embodies the spirit of being a risk taker and having the courage. Isn't immigration the basis of what makes this country greater than any other nation in the world? The United States is made up of 350 million strong descendants of seekers who are willing to take a risk and plant their roots in a foreign land. We are the generations of them, and we have the opportunity to pave the way for future generations to shine brighter. I am grateful to have had the opportunity to be an example of the American dream and to be a part of this great nation's history. I hope that my story will inspire others to pursue their dreams and to know that anything is possible with hard work and dedication. I am forever grateful. Gosh, how amazing is Tony? Here to introduce Tony is the co-founder and managing director of BAM Ventures, who previously co-founded household names such as LegalZoom.com and The Honest Company with Jessica Alba. Please join me in welcoming Brian Lee. Right. Hello, good evening. Um, so pleased to be here tonight to celebrate so many icons and heroes in this community. Uh, and I'm especially pleased to present the Business Visionary Award to the one and only Miss Tony Ko. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do something fun. When I say Tony, you say Ko. You ready? Tony? Tony! Yes, Tony Ko, the one and only. I cannot think of another person who's more deserving than Tony for this award. Tony, she just she embodies grace, she's humorous, she's smart, and especially kind. And all, all, in, one, all in one package. I mean, look at her just standing there. <laughs> like, for those of you who know Tony, uh, you already know her incredible story. And for those who don't know her, well, you've been missing out your entire life. Uh, as a brief, a brief background, uh, Tony is an immigrant from Korea, as you saw in the video, and came to this country with basically nothing. Uh, and be, before BTS or Blackpink, she was born to be a rock star. She started working with her parents in the wholesale beauty business and saw a real glaring niche in the marketplace. Why couldn't someone build or make a, a department store brand at affordable prices, all the while keeping the, the brand cool and relevant? And that's exactly what she did with NYX Cosmetics. It was very, very you know, avant-garde at the time. Uh, she, she, through her genius and grit, she just kept growing NYX every year to new heights, and eventually sold NYX to L'Oreal for what I call a fresh off the boatload of cash. 
how much cash? <laughs> Let's just say that she could probably solve the U.S. debt ceiling with her own accounts. But when Tony asked me to present this, uh, this honor to her, I didn't even you know, think of her journey as an entrepreneur. I just thought of her as a friend. You, know, you often hear stories about how some people march to a different drum. Well, Tony marches to a completely different orchestra. She does things her way. She takes risks. She's, she's, uh, she's incredibly philanthropic, and she gives so much to those in need. And she spends so much time doing that. Um, she's a loyal friend. She's a pillar of our community. In other words, she truly is an inspiration. I have one quick story about Tony. Uh, a few years back, I really wanted to take my family to Egypt on a vacation. I've always wanted to see the pyramids. So this is right after the, uh, the Arab Spring uprising, and there were all these red travel warnings about how dangerous it was to go to Egypt, if you recall. Uh, and I told my wife, yeah, I'd love to go, but it's just not safe. And then she takes out her camera or her phone and shows me a picture of Tony on a camel in Egypt in front of the pyramids. And she's like sitting there on a camel waving hi. And I was like, oh my God, that is one badass boss. You know, it's like she didn't care. She's like, she's going to do things her way. She takes risks and it's like, it, she's, she's just incredible. And so it's my true honor truthfully, to, to present this Business Visionary Award to you, Tony, a dear friend and an inspiration. Please welcome Ms. Tony Co. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you, Brian, for that wonderful intro. I've always wanted to do this, like in the Oscars. <laughs> Okay, so, well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everybody's having a great time. Um, first of all, I am so honored to be here today as the recipient of this award. Um, there are no words to describe how grateful I am to Asia Society for harmoniously gathering our community together and hosting this beautiful evening. Thank you, thank you, Brian. Thank you to everybody in Asia Society. And I would like to express my deepest gratitude to my family and my friends at table number seven <laughs> and colleagues who have supported me throughout my journey. Without their love, guidance, and encouragement, I would not be here today. Um, but most importantly, I would like to thank our ancestors who were the first to cross the Pacific Ocean, not on an airplane, but on wooden boats they traveled countless hours on rough oceans to harvest sugarcane, work on railroads, work in mines, and endured unthinkable hardship. They suffered all of this pain to give better future to their offspring that trickle down to our generation. Without them, we would not be enjoying the rights and luxuries we take for granted today. I am deeply and forever indebted to those who quietly suffer to live the life that we're living today. As an Asian American, I feel the need to emphasize the role of Asian Americans in the US, which has not been traditionally highlighted enough. I propose that we change that narrative tonight we cannot undermine the fact that immigrants are the ones who had the courage to leave the motherland to take chance at a better life. That is the essence and the secret sauce of the abundance in entrepreneurship in America, which is the mother load of all success and glorious capitalism at its finest. We are the descendants of the voyagers, the offshoots of adventure seekers, and the children of dreamers. As a business visionary, I strongly believe that success is not just about making money, but making positive impact on people's lives. And that is why I'm committed to using my platform and resources to support, the support and empower our community. Once again, I want to thank my sincere gratitude 
to the Asia Society for this incredible honor. I am inspired by the work that you do to promote cultural understanding, economic cooperation, and social justice across the Pacific, Asia Pacific region. I look forward to continue to working with all of you to create a better world for generations to come. Thank you. Thank you.